hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and today we are creating this beautiful halter top um it has the ribbing at the bottom and it has the halter shop and then i went ahead and put the sleeves and it's a very very simple tutorial easy to wear and it's cute yeah and this is how the back side looks the front and the back side look the same so let's get started with the tutorial using this yarn i got it from my friend sc crochets and it's a hundred grams and it's acrylic yarn it's so so nice to work with and it feels uh quite soft i'm using a 4.5 mm hook to crochet you'll need a pair of scissors uh, a tape measure a stitch marker and a darning needle to stitch in the ends okay so to begin we are beginning from the ribbing and as i said i'm using a 4.5 mm hook we are beginning from the lower ribbing and for the lower ribbing i chained 15 chains for the foundation chains okay sorry for the foundation chain i chained 15 okay and please remember to get the lower ribbing measurements take your bust measurements okay so as you work you will be working while stretching your work until it hits your bust measurements but as for now we are chaining 15 first as the foundation chain then i'll meet you once you're done with your first 15 chains Okay, I'm done with my 15 chains and to begin the first row you skip the first stitch go to the second stitch and we are working with single crochets across all the 15 chains that you have I will meet you at the end of the row once you're done doing single crochets across all the 15 chains okay i am done and this is how my work looks so to begin the next row you will chain one turn your work like this and now we are working with single crochets in the back loop only so you always do the back loop only like this just go inside one stitch the front stitch like this and we are going to work with single crochets in the back loop only across all the 15 stitches that you'll, you have. I will meet you at the end of your second row of single crochets in the back loop only. okay i'm done with the first row to begin the next row you chain one turn your work around and we are doing single crochets in the back loop only again so this is the pattern we will do single crochets in the back loop only and please remember to begin a new row you chain one and you turn your work okay and you're going to work like this until this fits your bust measurements please note you, you stretch your work to your bust measurements okay and i'll meet you once you're done with the ribbing area i am done with my work and this is how it looks and now we want to join the beginning to the end you can use your darning needle to join but i am using my hook to join so this is how my work looks remember this stretches to your bust measurement okay so that it's easy to wear so 
so this is how long I chained remember I'm making this in size small so this is how long it is okay to join the two put back your hook and chain one and we're just going inside the other side of our work and we are joining everything together using a single crochet sorry <laughs> we are joining using single crochets and if you have your darning needle you can work with that and i'll meet you once you are finished joining everything together using single crochets for those using hooks done and this is how my work looks and this is how the right side looks okay should look like that to resemble the other side and now you chain one and turn your work to the right side we're now working on the right side and we will do a row of single crochets in each stitch okay inside the ridge and on top of the ridge okay you go inside the ridge and on top of the ridge and we are doing single crochets in each stitch all the way around your outfit i will meet you once you're done with your first row of single crochets okay i'm at the end and in the end here we are joining the two together using a slip stitch go in on top of the chain one that we did um here and you are joining using a slip stitch like this to begin the second row you chain one turn your work and again it's a row of single crochets so go in the second stitch and do a single crochet and you are working with single crochets across all the stitches that you have i will meet you at the end of this second row of single crochets I am done with the second row and i'm at the end here remember at the end we join on top of chain one using a slip stitch like this and to begin a new row you chain one you turn your work and it's a row of single crochets again please not to always keep the first stitch go to the second stitch and that's where we start working the row of single crochets and we are doing 10 rows of single crochets remember 10 rows of single crochets is for all sizes and i will meet you once you're done with the 10 rows of single crochets I am done and this is how my work looks and now we want to start working on the 
reductions okay this is how my work looks the ribbing and then the 10 rows of single crochets okay to work on the reductions you have to find the middle part of your work you have to find the two sides of your work this side where we are joining using a slip stitch is the first side this side is the first side where we're joining using a slip stitch you take your stitch marker and put it here just to remind you once you get here to start the reductions okay and then we'll also go and put another stitch marker on the other side of your work so you need two stitch markers to put on each side of your top okay Now we have both our stitch markers in place and now we want to start working on our work. You can count the stitches if you're not sure. Make sure it's half on the front and half at the back. And now let's start working on the reductions. To work on the reductions, remember once you get to the stitch marker, you remove it and do a single crochet in the stitch marker. Once you get here on the first stitch marker, you just turn your work. Okay, do not chain one. Skip the first stitch, this stitch, go to the second stitch. Skip this stitch, go to the second stitch and do a single crochet. Okay, and we are just working with single crochets until you get to the other side of the stitch marker. Okay, I'm on this side of the stitch marker. Once you get there, remove the stitch marker. Go inside the stitch. Make a single crochet. Remember, this is the last stitch. Do not chain one. Turn your work. Skip the first stitch. Go to the second stitch and do a single crochet. This is how we are doing the reductions. Please remember do not chain one and then you skip the first stitch and start working from the second stitch okay that's how we are doing the reductions on both sides of this top i will meet you on the other side as you can see the reduction is coming in handy i'll meet you on this side I'm at the end of the work do the last single crochet turn your work and we're working starting from the second stitch skip the first stitch go to the second stitch and you're going to work like this until you get to the upper part of your uh, bust area that is probably near your neckline then like two inches to your neck area that's where we will stop working okay so do that and i'll meet you once you are working on the other side of your work i am done and this is how my work looks i hope yours looks the same too remember this is size small and on top here i have 17 chains remaining probably for size large you'll have 25 chains Sorry, medium, you'll have 25 chains. Large, you'll have 30 chains. Like that. So once you're done with your last stitch here, remember we are 2 inches to your neck area. You'll cut off your, um, your yarn. Like that. Make sure it's firm. And then come to this other side. And you're going to work the same, same way we have worked with this front side. Okay, we attach your yarn at the bottom here and work the same way the way we've worked with this front side this is how my work looks it should be the same as the front side 
like this and now we want to work on the straps okay this is how my work looks and to work on the straps we're still using our 4.5 mm hook to attach your hook remember the last um stitch here we have not cut off the yarn and to work on the straps you will now chain one okay you will now chain one turn your work and you're doing single crochets always keep this first stitch go to the second stitch do a single crochet the second single crochet and do a third single crochets and this is the last single crochet you are doing then you will chain one turn your work and you work again single crochets starting from the second stitch so to work on the straps we're just doing three single crochets and please remember to chain one okay for size small we are going to do 25 rows of single crochets that is the strap area for size medium you'll do 30 rows of single crochets that is the strap area for size large you'll do 35 rows okay so whatever size you are just add five rows to each size small i say this 25 size medium is 30 size large 35 as you go so that's the number of rows we're going to do for the strap area and i'll meet you once you're done with this first strap i'm done with the first strap and this is how it looks and we want to join it to the front side okay this is how it looks and we're joining it to the front side please turn your work into the wrong side we are joining on the wrong side and you can use a darning needle to join i'm still using my hook to join and please remember to turn your side your work to the wrong side i'm joining on the wrong side so we're just reattaching the strap to the front side of our work and we will join using a single crochets too so this is how we are joining we just um go inside this other side of our work this is the front side of our work and we join using single crochets okay please note you can also join using a darning needle and remember we are working on the wrong side of your work okay this is how my work looks remember this is the right side you see it looks nice and the other side where we joined is the wrong side so always remember to turn your work and work on the wrong side cut off your yarn and we'll work the same way the other um, strap and i'll meet you once you're done with your two straps okay so this is how we make this beautiful top and this is how it looks so so pretty i did not do edging at the sides if you want you can do edging at the sides using single crochets but this is how my work looks thank you for watching kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will meet you in my next tutorial goodbye